Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. Not a cloud in the sky today. A lot of sunshine and that allowed temperatures to climb into the mid to upper 50s, still way below average, but we're getting a little bit warmer here uh, as we go throughout the week. Right now, we can see skies are clear. This is out in our Colleen area, our live Centex roof system sky tracker. It's on top of one coin center. 57 degrees, our current temperature. Wind has been out of the east. Northeast around six miles per hour, dew point 26 degrees. So it's very, very dry out there. That temperature will continue to drop with those light winds and the clear skies. Temperatures across the board at this hour range from 59 in Hearn to 60 right now up in the Mahaya area. It is 57 in Temple as well as the Waco region, 57 in Gatesville and uh, Brownwood checks in right at 59 degrees. Now temperatures all week. Well, we're going to be below average tomorrow, about 74 degrees or so is the average high temperature. So 64 degrees tomorrow up to 73. So pretty seasonal on Friday. Then we go above normal over the weekend and that trend will continue. We could be looking at some 80s there by Monday and Tuesday, but we're staying in the upper 70s and lower 80s. Unfortunately, there's no rain in the forecast. We could always use some rain, right? Why not? But no rain right now over the next five days, just high and dry weather. There's that area high pressure that continues to give us that easterly flow there. As you can see there, high pressure rotates like a clock, and that's why we're seeing that here across our area, but nothing upstream. So that's why I think uh, once uh, the sun goes down here, the wind will get pretty light. We're going to see all kinds of cooling going on and uh, yeah, some widespread frost definitely in the forecast by tomorrow morning. Tonight's forecast though, it'll be chilly. If you are headed out this evening, maybe you've got to run some errands, head to the grocery store, make sure you take a coat with you. You'll be uh, you're happy you have one. Temperatures by 7 o'clock back down into the upper 40s and lower 50s and I think by midnight, mainly 40s and by tomorrow morning with those winds. The winds mean everything when you are expecting to see some scattered frost. If you don't see any wind, you see clear skies, that allows the temperature to really get cold and we'll be looking at those temperatures there around freezing, if not a few degrees below. Now, our forecast model right now has temperatures just a little bit above. That's if those winds stay up. I think those winds will start to go down and that's why we'll see some colder readings than that. As you go throughout the morning tomorrow, mostly sunny skies by the afternoon, climbing into the low to mid 60s, which is still below average, but warmer than what we had out there today. A few more clouds start to sweep into the area here late Thursday into Friday. So Friday starts off with temperatures in the upper 30s and lower 40s. And as we go throughout the day on Friday, a little bit more moisture means a little bit more cloud cover. Temperatures climbing into the 70s uh, just in time for your afternoon. Friday night football doesn't look bad either. Mostly clear skies tonight. We've got that freeze warning that kicks in at 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to go 31 degrees on south winds going down to 4 to 8 miles per hour. And then again, widespread frost possible in the morning. Otherwise, mostly sunny skies. About 64 degrees would be the high temperature. And then as we look ahead, the long range 10 day forecast 73 on Friday, 78 degrees on Saturday, Sunday, 79. You saw those 80s. And again, by the way, this is the weekend we turn the clocks back an hour. Yeah, a 49 hour weekend looks pretty good, doesn't it? That means you get an extra hour of sleep and you can see those temperatures remaining a little bit above average till the next weekend where we cool it down into the 60s for highs. And then Brian and College Station talking temperatures again in the 60s tomorrow, 70s as we hit Friday and Saturday. Don't forget to turn the clocks back there. And next week we're looking at 80s for highs and lows will be in the 